This year is the centenary of the Battle of the Somme and so we really wanted to do something very big to commemorate the Battle of the Somme. Having screened this film for the 90th anniversary and it was uh, screened to a full house at Queen Elizabeth Hall and experiencing the reaction it got from audiences of actually watching this film on a big screen in its entirety with uh, a live orchestra, um, I realised how completely engaging it was. Battle of the Somme is one of the most important films in the history of cinema and spe especially of, of non-fiction cinema. It's the first feature-length film made about a war, but this film actually showed a battle as it unfolded in the very heat of the battle. And it had such an impact on audiences at the time that almost immediately commentators said, this film must be stored in national archives. This film, when it was released in 1916, was the first time people had seen anything like this and people flocked in their millions to try and capture a glimpse of a friend or a loved one that would have been over there fighting and gave people a, a real opportunity to experience um, something of what was going on. It was actually watched by over half the population and it's held a box office record that wasn't beaten until the release of Star Wars in 1977. I think it is really important to watch this film in its entirety because it takes a while to sink in that these images really are real. A lot of people have seen clips of this film within documentaries, but I think watching it all the way through is such a moving experience and it's such a great way of, of connecting us in 2016 to that time in 1916. When I was researching writing the music for the Battle of the Somme, I went over and visited the Somme battlefields and the day before I was going over there, I happened to mention to my great aunt that I was going, and she mentioned that my great uncle Fred was actually a stretch bearer attached to the 29th Division, who feature in the film. So she sent over his diaries, and while I was out in France, um, I read them, and we retraced his footsteps through the diaries and went and visited all the places um, that he would have been, and also a lot of the places that, that feature in the film. So I, I, I stood in the exact spot where Malin's filmed the famous Hawthorne Mine explosion. July the 1st, 1916. Dawn. Big attack all along the line. Food scarce. July the 2nd. Many dead and wounded. Awful bombardment still on. Working day and night. I attended the recording of the music with the Philharmonia Orchestra of Laura Rossi's score uh, in a church in Streatham. And it was just, the music was just incredible. It blew me away. It was wonderful music. There's something dynamic and spontaneous about a live orchestra. It's a theatrical event. There's music, there's cinema, and there's music accompanying cinema, live music. And that's extraordinary. That's a different kind of event altogether. It's a very moving, uplifting, and exhilarating experience. The music for the Battle of the Somme, I think, is uh, very skillfully written um, because it manages to pick up a lot of the, the key features and emotions underlying the, the, the film that you see in front of you. So many of the musicians I've spoken to after screenings of Battle of the Somme, where they played Laura Rossi's music, have really enjoyed working with this music. They've got so much out of themselves. They're right at the heart of conveying the musical meaning so for them, it's a really great experience. And I think their engagement in the projects of these screenings is as valuable as that of the audience. It's just been a really good challenge, something different. The music is uh, really gorgeous to listen to and to play, so I think there's been a lot of approval for that in the orchestra as well. Yes, I think we're, we're really enjoying the opportunity to do something that's different and special and a bit of a one-off chance to commemorate the Battle of the Somme and an unusual opportunity to play a piece of contemporary music. It's very easy to put this on. All you need is an orchestra and a venue. Um, we have orchestras that are looking for venues and we have venues looking for orchestras. So one of the things the team at Some 100 Film are doing is trying to bring these together to put on their own special live orchestral performance of this unique historic film.
So if anyone is interested in joining up to the project, then they just have to go to the website, which is som100film.com.